Well, in this segment, sponsored by the Tulane Bogalusa Heart Study, I'm joined by Dr. Lydia, Lydia Bazzano from the study and Dr. Owen Carmichael of the Pennington Biomedical Research Center. Dr. Bazzano, I guess first, what is the significance of this Bogalusa study? Well, the Bogalusa study is really a landmark medical research study. Um, it was one of the first long-term studies that tracked children and their heart disease risk factors from childhood into adulthood. And it started in the 1970s. And it gave us really groundbreaking insights into uh, how childhood health impacts adult health. And the study was among the first to suggest that heart disease could begin in childhood. And that really challenged the thinking in the 1970s when yeah. the study began. Um, and it's also been one of the longest health studies that has continued for now 50 years um, and tracking the childhood risk factors now into adulthood when uh, these sorts of risk factors are playing a crucial role in having um, heart disease and you know other changes with aging. And it's also identified health disparities between black and white people in that uh, time course as well. Gosh, I mean, yeah, all of those things that you're mentioning have become kind of standard medical knowledge at this point. It's almost hard to believe that it all started right there in Bogalusa. That's amazing. Um, so if you know someone who grew up in Bogalusa in the 70s or 80s, they might have been a part of this study. Y'all are looking for those folks to reach out because you want to check in, see how they're doing, right? Absolutely. We are looking for those folks to reach out, reach back out to us, get to us on our website or through our clinic phone number and um, and now the sorts of things that we're doing can uh, really change um, the guidelines for medicine in the future. That's amazing. I mean, really cool research. Um, Owen, you know, Pennington Biomedical Research Center uh, has kind of come into this. What is their role in this whole study? So Pennington Biomedical Research Center has stepped up to provide measurements of brain health. So this started with the heart. That's right. So uh, Bogalusa Heart Study started out as a heart study. And now that the people who are in the study are getting older, we're asking the question of how heart health affects the brain health as people get older. So we're wondering whether uh, heart conditions that develop either during childhood or adulthood could grow into bad effects on the brain, such as Alzheimer's disease as we get older. The catchphrase is healthy heart, healthy mind. And that's how what we're trying to study uh, using equipment from Pennington Biomedical Research Center. So y'all have seen this connection and this study coming right out of our local area uh, from all these years ago is helping to kind of confirm some of those suspicions. Well, so again, the Bogalusa Heart Study is a groundbreaking study. There just isn't this type of group of people out there in the world that have been studied all the way from childhood wow. up unto old age. And so we're using MRI and PET scanning to try to see if there's signs of early signs of brain aging and Alzheimer's disease and how that relates to heart conditions all the way back to childhood. I mean, and Lydia, just real quick, uh, what are some of the benefits? You know, if somebody's out there like, well, I, I may have been a participant, what are some of the benefits uh, to participants for them to reach out and talk to you guys now? Sure, well, the participants get a lot of health checks um, that are blood pressure measurements, uh, comprehensive blood work. Um, they get ultrasounds of the heart and the neck vessels as well. Um, and, you know, this kind of provides valuable data for research, but it also helps in detecting and managing potential health conditions early. Um, for example, monitoring your blood pressure, monitoring cholesterol and blood sugar can catch risks before they become serious problems. And it isn't a substitute for regular medical care, but it has helped some participants to find conditions early, like early stage cancers that were small enough to be handled before um, or treated before spreading. Really, really cool. Well, thank you so much. Uh, BogalusaHeartStudy.org is where you can go if you'd like more information about this. Uh, Dr. Bazzano, Dr. Carmichael, thank you all again so much for joining us. I appreciate it.